In this tutorial, we shall take a look at list view and list style. Now the name makes it really clear that a list view makes a list of widgets which are arranged linearly. The good thing about list view is that if the number of widgets are more than what you can see on the screen, it creates a scrollable list of those widgets. So they can be scrolled up and down. Now it is one of the most commonly used scrolling widgets as it displays its children one after another in the scroll direction which could be both upwards and downwards. A list style is a single fixed height row that uh, typically contains some text as well as a leading or a trailing icon. Now not just this but we can put many other, in fact any choice of widgets inside a list style such as a check, check box and so on and so forth. Now the additional feature that list style offers is that we can also make these widgets tappable by using an on tap method which we will also see later in the tutorial. So for now let us just dive right into the code and see how list view and list style works. Let us now begin building a list view with list styles. So the first step that we have to do is define the body of the list view and now inside list view since we are adding multiple children we mention children and we add the list tile as a child or as one of the children if you may. So let us begin by adding a leading icon. Now my choice of icon here would be say um, a map Let's use a map. Yes, icons.map. Great. Now, the next thing that we will do is I think we should add some text to it. So we add a title, text, and let's say map. So now we have successfully created a list title within a list view. We make a hot reload and now as you can see on the body there is a small icon, a, tra a leading icon with the text next to it that says map. So essentially what this does is that it tells you that this is where a map is. Now this particular collection of widgets should have some action. So we should first make it tappable so that we can assign an action to them. So to make it tappable, we use the on tap method. And for simplicity's sake, we add the action of printing something to the terminal. So we say print map. Now we reload it again. Now if you see, when we click on the map, it's tappable. And on the terminal here, it says map. Now just for demonstration purposes, let's make three copies of this. And we will all assign different icons and different text to these copies so we can differentiate between this. So now we have multiple children inside the list view. And let's say we make this um, search. The text would be search. and we will print search on the terminal as well. And for the third list style, we can go with uh, one of my favorites, album. I really like the icon for album, say album. And let's type the text to be album and we will print album on the terminal as well. So now when we make a hot reload again, you can see that we have similar widgets, similar list styles, three of them with different icons and different text and all three of them are tappable. So tapping album says album, tapping search says search and tapping maps says maps. So that is it for list view and list style and we will see you in the next video.